Hey, okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go be my Leos. It's going to be December 3rd through the 17th of December 2019. Mia, what's on your head? Scratch? Is that blood? Oh man. my lips. Okay. Kids are home again. No school. Almost two feet of snow. It's Tuesday. All right, Leo. Next couple weeks, please. What are we looking at? Okay, so basically, what'd you say? I lost my camera. I know I didn't lose you guys, but you I say? lost my camera. So you got the high priestess and the wisdom. Use it. Detachment. <clears throat> Not tonight. King of Pentacles. So loyalty. We'll get in more snow. My my weather app didn't say that. Okay. Alright, that's that's too many. Leo. Okay. This kind of reminds me of the Aries read. Okay. Um are you following your inner wisdom? Either you detach from a situation or someone detached from from you. Or you're just very aloof and detached. Or you're standing very strong in your in where your loyal where your loyalty lies. Okay. Um and you got the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. Well, this could have to do Mia Mia. Room. Can you go in the other room and chat? If you're gonna chat. Yeah, Talks about um stigma. So to Mia, I always see religion here. I don't know what that's about. Um I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, um, troops that I'm gonna do your energy and then along uh, like the, the rest of them too. Um a brief description on the surrounding energy. So, I don't know if you're actually going towards destiny or not. Um, did I just shut you down? No, okay. Um, just because the look on her face. These are all women in this deck, guys. You could be dealing with a Pisces that detached. <clears throat> it's ironic because I don't I don't know who you're coming off as. If anything, I think you'd be coming off as the the King of Pence. This King of Pence with the Ace of Pence is an amazing would be an amazing opportunity because this speaks of well, this speaks of loyalty, but it also speaks of practicality, commitment, stability. And this Ace of Pence is, a, is abundance, so it's not just it's not just money. Um, normally, it speaks of money, job opportunities, that type of thing. But this is abundance all the way around. It's like a Ten of Cups type card in this deck. Tell me about the High Priestess. If it's pulling me to the Aries, so it's almost like I don't think you're using your inner wisdom, or you have some type of Pisces energy that uses inner wisdom, psychic mediumship that type of stuff um that detached or you detached from your spirituality something like that's going on leo high priestess please so it looks like there is some type of new stat that you want you got the lovers reverse, so either you made a decision or she made a decision. The high priestess is always feminine, it's feminine energy. 
you could have been dealing with a cancer, but that's that's reversed. So there's no there's no forward movement. Um, but a decision has been reached. So I don't know if it looks to me you're dealing with a Pisces Gemini type energy. Tell me about the lovers. So a decision was made. And it looks like the decision was to disengage. There was some type of, there's no communication right now, but there was some type of lie or the truth wasn't told to someone. And if she's a high priestess, she's fully aware of that. And if she wasn't getting... You know, you could have been hiding how you felt, but if she was aware of that, she would have clearly detached. Tell me about tell me about the six of swords. So it looks like you guys are, were dealing with somebody like that or a cancer. Something's not moving forward. Um, could have been a happy, happy. Um, Got the Hierophant reversed. That's screaming at me right now, too. Um, you could have been dealing with a cancer. It's just something that didn't go, move forward with someone. Tell me about King of Pants. So. You weren't committed to something. Which is ironic because the, the King of Pence is a very loyal person. Okay. Um, well, when it comes to work, something's going down at work. There's some clear, direct message happening. But you're not, you're not acknowledging something. Got the... Queen of Earth at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the Page of Pence. So it looks like you want something new. You want to go after something. Um, this one could have detached because there was no commitment. It almost looks like you want to go back after it, though. Or it's just something you were hoping for and, and wanted. There could have been multiple lovers with the lovers being out. Um, you were definitely feeling restricted, but you're coming out of that. So being tied up in something. Tell me about one more for the ace of pence. So you might be starting to see something. You got the page of wands reversed. So wanting to take your time with something, not not wanting to rush in. I do feel like there is a path that can be chosen, but you're not you're not taking it. A choice is not being made. So this is telling me you're still being indecisive. Something going on with a family. Tell me about the chariot. So you definitely, it pulled me back, yeah, I, I, there, you definitely want a new stop, but you really want to take your time with it. <sighs> with the chariot, um, it's the four of wands. So maybe somebody wanted to move and you didn't want to. Because now there's no movement. Whatever energy that is that's detached is... Might feel a little guilty, but is no longer in the energy of, or this is you, but is no longer in the energy of anything like looking at something like it's it's petty or it's it just it's kind of it's what it is type scenario. Um, tell me about the lovers. Uh, 
if there was a third party or is, it's n no women are on the board. It's, well, you do have Cancer and Gemini. You do have the lovers, which is making me think that, okay? So it's like, and, and now the devil, okay? So there's still something toxic. There's still something going on. Somebody took themselves out of a situation. Um, there wasn't enough emotional fulfillment. So there's still some type of toxicity with the situation. Um, the lovers and the devil are, are the same to me. Um, and you got them both side by side. So it, it was just, whether it was good or bad, somebody wasn't getting enough of Pisces energy or a Cancer energy or a Gemini or a Cappy energy, just was not getting enough. And it looks like Leos didn't want to commit. You were clear about it. Um, it does look like you wanted a new stuff, but you really wanted to take your time with something. So there's a lot of stuff that's underlined that's not being talked about, and I, I don't know what that's regarding, but let's see what Ganesha has to say. I don't know if you're going to try to go back after that new stat, or you took your new stat elsewhere and you're putting your time and effort towards something else. Leo. I just looked down and it said um, 11.33. Okay. Um, not 11.33. Is it 11.33? Was it 11.33? Yeah, it was 11.33. Let me see real quick. 11.33. And Splenda wanted to pop out, but it didn't. The angel number is strong message to lift your doubts and fears and worries to the angels. Help them Help them be transformed. Once you accomplish this, you are fully prepared for your destiny and your divine mission. Okay, so there is there is something definitely underlined. Okay. Um, like I said, Splenda wanted to pop out, but let's see, Leo. Your fire signs are very aloof for the next two weeks. Oh, I forgot to put these two back in the deck. Leo, please, Leo. Blessings. You might be seeing 44 too. You might be seeing 44 too. Lessons. So something you that something that's going down is definitely divinely protected. It asks you to consider exactly what it is you want at this time. Make sure you go after your desires. You reach your certain goals. The universe is conspiring you to help you achieve your aspirations. The universe is in harmony with your desires. It's just how is it going to transpire? It can very effortlessly if you allow it to. There's blessings of luck, new pro um new prospects. Okay, be very clear about your intentions at this time. Identify what the desire is. Ganesha is going to make sure they clear the obstacles so you get these blessings. Okay. Withstand the temptation and self indulgence. You are excellent. Hi, sweetie. If you want to ever have like a little bit of like what's here left on the stove. No, it's alright. Thank you so much, though. Okay, I'm just going to leave it on the stove because it's like basically the same amount as this, so I shouldn't throw it away. No, leave it in the pan. Okay. Thanks. Sorry about that. Take Finny with you, too. Okay, so you're in, a, you're in an excellent phase of your life, even though certain things might not seem that way. But it also says this period is not going to last forever, so you might as well take advantage of it. Act upon the opportunities as they arrive, arise. Resolve, and you will be triumphant. Um, your principle, the average work, something's going in your favor now. Manifestations are possible and endless. Ganesha teaches you... That your blessings will be continuous, continuous throughout your life. Um, it just might not seem immediately apparent. Trust and happiness and blessings will be showered upon you. What is going on in your life in this moment is external and beyond your control. True happiness and blessings lie within you, and within your heart and soul. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, but you might want to go check out Aries. Okay, because there was uh, some similar energy to this. So what I'm going to do, it's basically saying something's coming.
kind of out of your control. Something's kind of inevitable. Um, it really just depends on how you want to look at whatever's going down. It's going down. So, let's see what the external energy is saying. So, this is whomever you're dealing with. Got the Prince of Pence reversed. The world reversed. It's like this one energy is like not moving forward, okay? But not, not in sorrow either, okay? A again, the Five of Swords, it's getting over the whole just how do I want to put it it came in through Aries like that too even Sag so my fire is getting a dose of, of lessons okay um, with the five of swords upright it's like winning the winning the battle but not the war okay something like it's, it's a lost loss it could be a narcissistic card too um but reverse it's not it's it's getting out of that energy learning a lesson which makes sense because that other energy seemed to detach um but it's like something's not over because it's i don't know if you didn't close the door or or they didn't but if you ask me it, it certainly looks like the door was shut. I don't know. I don't know if you have the antidote to something. It's very bizarre. Combination here. If they... Princess of Pence is all about taking a new job, a new position, putting time and effort into something. They're no longer putting time and effort into anything right this second. When it comes to either a Leo energy or a work. But there would be way different energy if, if somebody was sitting in. Huh. I think they're just not putting time and energy into, into something that the, the door was shut but the wall was reversed. I don't know what's going on with that antidote. Yeah, see, they're not confused. They're not confused. You do have um, the three of swords at the bottom of the deck, so hurt. Um, Sun reversed. So it's like they don't have much clarity when it's coming to something. Or they just didn't see the growth. So, yeah, see, it's like not moving forward. There's love. It's not about love. I don't know if a contract broke with the Three of Pence being reversed. It's very ironic. It's almost like they don't want you to know much about the other energy either. All you fire signs will like that. Okay, I don't know what that's regarding. But just know it's just like I need that back. You gotta look within your heart and soul when it comes to something. Okay. Um
Looks like someone detached from you or vice versa. But it's like your loyalty lies somewhere. But you're not talking about it. Or you had to let something go because your loyalty lies elsewhere. It's the only way I can really look at like this for you. <clears throat> you guys were the last fire zodiac I zodiac I did, so I was trying to get a little more out of it for you, but you might be able to seek other answers within Sag and Aries, Aries for sure. Alright, I hope that helped you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Love you, bye.